At the Fujimi booth, checking out some new and upcoming releases here. Uh, we got a 124th scale uh, Lamborghini Aventador coming in uh, no, 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 December. This is a completely all new tooling of the this super hot Lamborghini. Uh, the model will feature working doors that pop up just like the real Lamborghini, as you see there. Uh, now, they've also got a, this is actually coming, this is, will definitely be a product. They also have some uh, tentative prototypes on display. Uh, I don't know if you can see them very well here, but we start over here with the, the uh, De Tomaso Pantera. It's coming, it appears to be 124 scale, absolutely no information uh, about it at all. This may or may not actually become a product, but we're going to show it to you anyway. Now, let me see, it's a little crowded in the booth here, so I'm going to come around this way. Excuse me, excuse me. They got a couple more. Um, Stations. That's it. They got a couple more uh, tentative prototypes here. This is the uh, 2010 Sauber Formula One car. Uh, as you can see, it's a very, very rough uh, pre-production prototype there. Very rough forms there. Uh, may or may not be a product, but Sauber 2010. And a very interesting model here coming up. This is a 77 late version of the uh, famous Tyrell P34 six-wheeler. Uh, this is a little bit more developed uh, than uh, the Sauber kit there, or the Sauber model. You can see the suspension uh, seems to be pretty much set. Um, so if these come to fruition and we get these on sale, this will be very, very cool to have out there, uh, these cool kits. Now here's a product that is definitely coming out, uh, and it's actually coming out next month in November. This is the uh, 2010 uh, Ferrari Formula One car, the Ferrari F10, an all-new tooling uh, of the fast Ferrari car uh, from the 2010 Formula One season. Got all the parts laid out here. Uh, and silver. They probably won't be silver when they show up in your box, uh, but yeah, the great Fujimi detail. Uh, in the middle there, there's the, the previous kit of the F2003 uh, from the Japan GP, and over here we have a clear version of the Ferrari F92A with what they call skeleton body. Just means clear so you can see the detail inside. Uh, so that's some cool automotive releases coming from the guys at Fujimi. We're here at the Fujimi booth and we've got a brand new Hiryu. Well, of course, over at Tamiya, we've got the brand new 1350 Yamato. So we're seeing a continuing trend of a whole exciting slew of releases in 1350 scale. Now, the Hiryu is actually the second to the last of the six Japanese carriers that were at Pearl Harbor that hadn't been made into a brand new 1350 scale kit. The only one that's been left out so far is the Soryu. All the others, uh, the Akagi, Kaga, Shokaku, Zuikaku, and now the Hiryu have all been done. So we're still waiting on Soryu. Uh, but as you can see, it's not a battleship, so it doesn't have as much super detail as something like uh, the Amato does, but that means it's going to be a lot easier building task. So uh, if you're looking to put together a Japanese uh, you know, Navy Pearl Harbor set, we're almost home with this new edition of the Hiryu from Fujimi. More greatness at the Fujimi booth here. Uh, as you've seen up on our site for a while now, we've got the Fujimi 124th scale spinner. That's all they're calling it, spinner. We know what it is. I'll go ahead and say it. It's the police spinner car from uh, Blade Runner. Um, although for various reasons, I can only call it the spinner here. Uh, this first time I've seen it live and in person, it looks great. Uh, the detail is excellent. Um, and we are looking forward to getting these out the door. It's coming soon. Uh, it'll be shipping at the end of uh, October, I believe, or shipping from Fujimi at the end of October. We should be getting our stock sometime after that. Uh, looking down around here more, there's uh, from Ultraman, there's the small, the small Beetle, VTO, uh, vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Uh, if you're an Ultraman fan, you know exactly what this is. Um, this is also coming soon from Fujimi. Uh, this is a, just announced here at the show, is a 124th scale BMW Z4 GT3 version. See, it's got the big GT wing in the back there. Uh, this is an early prototype uh, of the kit. Uh, it's still under, um, under development. Will be coming out soon. So no price or release date set for that one yet. And in the back there, we see a, a cool bike kit. Uh, what do we have there? It's a Star Kawasaki ZX-10R 2010 uh, with Evangelion um, markings there, which is pretty cool. Don't know if it comes with a hat or not, but it has over there. And uh, as we've seen, we've had these on sale for a while, the uh, Hatsune Miku versions of the GT3 Porsches. Very cool there. Uh, now over here are a couple more new releases. A 172nd scale uh, Tiger tank, German Tiger. Um, this appears to be an early version with the, the rubber rimmed road wheels, early style cupola, uh, and a couple of various trucks and all. And th these are all 
Uh, are they Kanzen? Yes, well the Tiger, yeah, the Tiger is an all new tooling and uh, one of the trucks is a partial new tooling and some of the other trucks are all new tooling. So some good 172nd scale armor coming from Fujimi as well. And if you've been watching boss builds, you've been seeing me build the, uh, the, the G8 Type 10 main battle tank. So check it out. Now over here, one more, we have the F-15 Strike Eagle in 172nd scale. Uh, it comes with a separate engine. As you can see there in its own separate display stand, this is an all new, absolute all new tooling. Looks to have great detail. The panel lines uh, look very, very nice. Not overdone. Looks great for the scale. And uh, this great new kit, all new tooling, coming out in December from the fine folks at Fujimi. Oh, more car news over there. We've got a bunch of different cars out here. Um, most of them are just reissues of some older kits, but uh, we have this Mugen CRZ. The Honda Hybrid Sports Car CRZ. This is an all-new tooling. Uh, oh nope, I take it back. It's a. Uh, it has some new toolings, uh, some newly tooled parts added to it to make the Mugen CRZ version. Uh, and this is also coming out in December. So yeah, just take a pan down here and uh, see some of the other great releases. Uh, another interesting one is the Mercedes-Benz SLS, released as the Formula One safety car. Uh, if you watch Formula One races, you see this uh, big bad boy rumbling around the track. Uh, to me, it's the best sounding car on the grid uh, with that monster engine and uh, a selection of other domestic Japanese cars and foreign cars all coming from Fujimi. It's all great stuff.